Hallelujah, hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. God bless you so much for joining us this afternoon. When you are me, Dr. Justice Avevo, your studios of OK, a higher OK 101.7 FM. Uh, we are live on the Ekwansu Jojo okay. program. Okay. A friend of Back to the Bible segment with Abeku Santana. And this afternoon, uh, we bring you the word of God. That will bless your life and change your life. NTBBB uh, Albiara. You can join us live on Facebook and on YouTube on OK 101.7 FM and uh, share the link with your friends. Your life will never be the same again. Uh, this afternoon, Miniminua Evangelist Alfred Mensa and your studio had this afternoon. Evangelist, I say. Amen. And it also say, you have decided to connect with us this afternoon so just keep your dial on ok 101.7 fm yes. this afternoon and your life will never be the same again hallelujah amen your friend may dr justice aveva of the flame house chapel international madina new road taxi rank and then uh, this afternoon we are dealing with the topic uh, we've titled step forward yes. step forward and to your best start free. Mark chapter 3 from verse 1 to 5. And I'm going to do that very quickly in the English. And now, me and me, kind of tree Bible. All right. So, Mark chapter 3 from verse 1. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a weeded hand. And they watched him whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day that they might accuse him. And he said unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. The New King James Version says, Step forward. And he said unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days or to do evil, to save or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked around about them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their heart, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it out. And his hand was restored whole as the other. Amen. Amen. Back on some part, a team and sign back on Cosi and Moon. Then see it, Yami Assam. Now, of course, shall them at room. Not only people who are in Sai Wu. Now, what tell me, sir, about some idea, Homeda and I. Now, I got to talk now. Now, I see a nipper and then say one say. So, we did her. Now, say one say. I will walk on so I have papa and I, Bonnie Homeda. So what you been quite a nice walk on no. Now you come a Now there before she won't shy. Now I come a dinty a year no ya. Now so any pony say. Tina won't sir. Now to me. Now then sana a wono as an ye. Amen. Amen. Everlasting Father, our hands are lifted. Amen. Thy kingdom come, that will be done. Yes. Today, have authority dominion and yes. power over the airwaves yes we declare that lord your power be released yes your grace your presence be released yes we pray for all our listeners Jesus. that lord your word will penetrate all spaces Amen. of darkness and installations of wickedness and evil yes we declare that lord this afternoon your people will be set free yes we pray that even as people hear us in their homes in their cars heal Jesus. the sick yes. raise the dead yes let there be healings amen salvation yes do that which you alone can do amen touch my tongue with the call of fire Jesus name. let them not hear the voice of a man yes but let them hear the voice of god in jesus name amen amen when i mean shower uh, your friend with Dr. Justice Avevo, a higher OK 101.7 FM. And to you, Daniel Mias, and then you have joined us on this Back to the Bible segment with uh, the legend of the airways. Our host is my brother and uh, my good friend, Abeku Santana. Thank you so much for the great work you are doing. And with your producer, uh, Mr. Godwin Dogbe, the Lord bless you. And thank you to the OK team. God bless you and lift you higher and higher. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
in the book of Mark chapter 3, in the next uh, 25 minutes, I am going to be dwelling on this scripture and uh, to believe God to help us reach a certain point in dimension of our life. Yes. And I'm talking about step forward. Now, Odifo, uh, step forward in Ukraine, you can't watch him. Brawenim. 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 Yes. Step forward. Brawenim. Step forward. In Mark chapter 3, there was a very interesting thing that happened there. Now, you must understand that every story that was captured in scripture is meant for a purpose and is for a reason for us to learn something from there. Now, Bible says, Yesu Christo, he entered into the synagogue. And when he entered into the synagogue, there was a strange thing that happened in the synagogue. He saw that there was this man in the synagogue whose hand was withered. His hand was withered. And so, when Jesus looked at the man, the Bible says that he looked at him and then he, 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 he stood afar and then he was looking at the man. And then he asked them a question that, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath day mm. or to do evil? Now, by the time Jesus was looking at the man, one of the fiercest opposition to Jesus' earthly ministry were some sets of people. The Herodians, the Sarah, the Pharisees, and the Pharisees. Mm. And at the time Jesus was talking the pharisees were there and the bible said they set their radar on him they were looking at him very clearly and they were watching him seeing what he would do i want us to look at that in the tree what did he say in the tree they kept their radars on they set their eyes on him and they were waiting to see what will happen it was in the midst of his enemies his adversaries yes. jesus entered into the synagogue the chapel the church and he was in the midst of his enemies those who were fiercely opposing his ministry he was in their midst yes or say now what no say our son yeah the home dad now uh huh and so they were watching him to see what what tenno what tenno they were they, they have said their radar they were just waiting to pounce on him and see if he was going to do anything he was in the midst of his adversaries of his opposers and the bible said jesus be, the, being a jewish boy i want you to understand that jesus was born a jewish boy raised in jewish tradition and so he was very much acquainted with the laws of Moses. Yes. And so he wasn't oblivion or he wasn't someone who was ignorant when he talked about the laws. He was very much acquainted, well educated in it. And so he walked them and then he asked them a question. And he threw a question to them. By the time he threw the question to them, he discerned the hardness of their heart. But he had already told the man to step forward. It was in the midst of opposition, but Jesus told the man, step forward. Yes. And the man also stood forward. He came forward. And then Jesus asked them a question that is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? Is it lawful to do good or to do evil? Now, by the time Jesus was asking this question, if you're a student of the Bible, you will go back to the book of Matthew, where Jesus had had several encounters with these same Pharisees on the issue of the Sabbath day. Yes. Now, I want to dwell a little bit on this thing called Sabbath. Because the challenge of Jesus and his people of his day was about religion. In the book of Genesis chapter 2, when God created the earth, the Bible said the Lord rested on the seventh day. And you know, I to say, seven day no. Nyamiya, she said, Sa, seven day no for what? Resting. Resting. Great. And so that was, that, was, that, that, was the, that was the only thing about the Sabbath day. It was a day. Nyamiya, she said, Omar, Omar, resting. Obian, resting. Omar, Omar, Omar. Whether it is physical or spiritual, let everything rest. Okay. Today I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That may God bring rest into your life. Amen. May, may God bring rest. Baby, I want to me home. Wherever you are suffocating, wherever you are suffocating, yes. may God bring rest into your life. Amen. Now, if you study scripture very well, you will understand that. In, 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 in the, the, the Jewish rabbis or the schools of the rabbis have made this whole thing about Sabbath very much more complicated than it was before. The Sabbath, it has become a day of oppression. Because when you look at the things that goes on in the Sabbath, over the years, Jewish rabbis or the schools of the rabbis have added hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of laws mm. to that particular small statement yes. they should rest on the sabbath day they have added a lot of laws to it for instance in the days of judas maccabees because of the sabbath 
it was said that there were a group of Jewish people that got confronted by their enemies. And they folded their hands and they refused to fight because it was a Sabbath day. And the law was that on the Sabbath day, men mm. be And so when the enemy came on the Sabbath day, no, they folded their hands and said, <laughs> They won't fight. And they folded their hands. And listen to what they said. They said, it is in the, in the innocency of our heart. And let heaven and earth be witness that you have killed us wrongly. And so history said that during those days, they, they, they slew those men, killed their wives, killed their children, killed their cattle. And the entire number of people that died on that day, on the Sabbath day, was 1,000. Mm. Because they refused to fight. It was a Sabbath day. They refused to fight, and it was a Sabbath day. They folded their hands and said, I will not fight. One of the dangerous things that can kill a man is religion. Yes. Jesus didn't bring us religion. God, in fact, God didn't bring us religion. Yes. He brought us life. Religion can be very disastrous. Yes. Religion has kept people in darkness. Yes. Religion has kept people, in, in, has kept, ha, have oppressed people. The Jewish rabbis have added laws. Omudi Emrano, Omudi, 100, 100, cry your friend, is there. Oh, Chimu, 100. Oha. Oha, 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 Oha. They have added, they have added hundreds upon hundreds. Edisha Emranimo, more than what God was expecting them to do. Another time, another time, another time, when you even look at one of the Jewish historians, they call him Flavius Josephus. If you look at his antiquities, in his writings, it was believed that that one of the reasons why, uh, uh, um, how do you call him, the the, the, the Roman uh, um, the Roman military general called Pompey was able to capture Jerusalem was because what he did was that he, he intentionally built mounds, and in those days in ancient times, what they have to do is that it's a military warfare strategy that whenever they want to capture the enemy's territory, they will build mounds and then stand on those ones to bombard the city. So this general called Pompey or uh, Pompey built the mounds on Sabbath day and Jews wouldn't do anything. They just folded their hands. They would not do anything. Wow. They folded their hands and they were watching them. They built the mounds over time. With time, they were able to stand on that to bombard the city of Jerusalem and took over. They captured it. Kadula Mahasha Kadaba. Jesus. The family Dr. Justice Aveva. A higher OK 101.7 FM. Uh... To Ekwansu Junju, back to the Bible segment. Now I'm talking about step forward. Step forward. There are so many things about the Sabbath we can talk about. In fact, when you look at the Talmud or, or the major traditions of Jewish writings, it will amaze you to know that one of the sessions of the Talmud had, had about 24 chapters on the laws of the Sabbath. Meanwhile, God spoke just see a single word. She rest. And, and some of those laws, some of those laws is, is, is so interesting that you were not supposed on the Sabbath, you were not supposed to go beyond 3,000 feet from your house. Wow. If you have a food item that is about 3,000 feet beyond your house, where you stay, you are not supposed to go touch it. Very weird and dangerous laws. If you use one hand to throw something into the air, you are not supposed to use the second hand to receive it. That is considered as work. I say, who here, Juman? Tailors, in those days, tailors were not supposed to carry needles on them. Least they attempted to mend someone's clothes. And by so doing, that would have been counted as work on the Sabbath day. Jesus. On the Sabbath day, if you are a woman, you are not supposed to stand in front of a mirror to look into your face because it is believed that, it is believed that if you look into your face and you find a gray hair and then you try to remove it, you have done work. On the Sabbath day. Wow. <laughs> the legalistic people of his days Worldly people of his days added hundreds upon hundreds to the laws, making it becoming more oppressive. In fact, it was even more oppressive obeying the laws of the Sabbath than the days of labor. Wow. God gave them six days to work, one day to rest. The rest of the season, I said, a more difficult chair, Sabbath day. You know? 
And see, in the midst of that, Jesus wanted to make a statement. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. All these were mosaic systems that were created, that were laid down by people. And Jesus was trying to break into the system. Jesus was trying to undo the system. It was an established system that had lived several years, several years, thousands of years ago before Jesus was born. And he came into the system and he found the system in the church. And he was trying to break that system in the church. Senevea, people to, can get their freedom. Okay. Yes. Today we lift up prayer in the name of Jesus. Yes. Whatever system people have created over our lives. Yes. May the hand of God be lifted. Jesus. Now what is in the midst of all these systems, Jesus looked at the man and told him, step forward. Yes. Today, I want to talk to someone here who is in the midst of oppositions. Yes. Who is in the midst of laws that does not allow people to make progress. Hey. Who is in the midst of laws that does not allow people to rise yes. up. Jesus is telling you, step forward. Yes. Step forward. Time will not permit me to talk about the funny things about the Sabbath law. Very strict. Very strict and difficult to obey. Jesus. You were not even supposed to allow water to spill on the ground where you are. That will be considered as work. Yen yes, sir, on a Sabbath day. Oh yes, I bet you. Bet you are. You do because maybe as a hindrance for no one. And they will sanction you. It was a system. Is it possible, sir? There were some spiritual systems that we, we have created. Is it possible, sir? There, is a, there are spiritual systems that the devil has created that is not allowing us to rise, that is not allowing our businesses to do well, that is not allowing our ministries to do well. Is it possible that there is a, a spiritual system the devil has created? You are working in this office for so long, but whenever it's time for you to be promoted, something always happens. Mm. You sit there, see your friends receive awards. Jesus. Celebrated all the time, but you are there. Yes, you've seen them build houses, but won't you mean yes? Even more to won't mean to because there is a system that has been created that does not allow people to rise from where you are. Mm. This man was right in the synagogue, he was in the church, he was in the church, he was not in the shrine, he was not in the marketplace, he was in the church, and right in the church, the mosaic system was created Jesus. to limit him. To make sure he does not write. It was his day of deliverance. It was his day of salvation. Yes. It was his day of total liberation and yes. testimony. It was his day where his withered hands will be restored. Jesus. But immediately Jesus met him. An opposition came into place. Today I want to speak to someone here. Yes. I want to speak to a student. I want to speak to a businessman. Yes. I want to speak to a politician. I want to speak to someone here yes. who has found himself in the midst of wild oppositions, enormous yes. oppositions, oppositions that are overwhelming. I want to talk to someone here who is dealing with systems, yes. demonic systems yes. that have been created. Look at the life of your brothers. Mm. A system is fighting them. Jesus. Look at the life of your sisters. Yes. It is a system that is fighting them. Mm. Look at the life of your siblings. It is a system that is fighting them. Jesus. Listen to me, child of God. The systems of this world are not created to favor you. Never. There is no system in this world that is created to favor your cause. Mm. There is no system in this world that is created to favor the cause of the children of God. Mm. There is no system. Yes. And Jesus came in there to break into the system. I remember the words of scripture. Many years ago, a young man was born and they called him Moses. He came in and he was trying to fight a slavery system that has been established for over 400 years. And now our years with anymore. Me bomb yes. That any system the devil has created, yes. the system of oppression, Jesus. the system of suppression, yes. the system of depression. Yes. You are pushing, it's not pushing. Yes. You are pressing, it's not pressing. Yes. You are working, it's not working. Mm. Today I lift up prayer for you yes. by the power of God Jesus. and by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Whatever system the devil has created yes. that is keeping everybody down hey. there, whatever system the enemy has created yes. that is keeping everybody down there, Jesus. I pray for you in the the name of Jesus, Amen. let the system be broken. Amen. Step forward. Step forward. The man saw the Pharisees there and he saw Jesus. Hmm. And he knew that Pharisees had voices. 
even the Roman government at the time, if you study biblical history, the Roman government at the time, they were afraid of the Pharisees because they had huge numbers and they had a huge following. They were one of the sets of the New Testament. Jesus. And he was looking at them and he was looking at Jesus. And Jesus said to him, step forward. It's a matter of choice. He decided to overlook and override the, 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 the enemies and decided to look up to Jesus. Will you respond to the Lord? Mm. Or you respond to the circumstance? <laughs> Will you respond to God? Or you respond to the circumstance? You are listening to me now. You are sick on the hospital bed. And I'm telling you, rise up. Oh, step Jesus forward. Name. Will you listen to the word of God? Or you respond to the circumstance? Mm. You are in financial crisis. You are running. The business is not running. God is telling you, step forward. Yes. You wrote exams. You fail all the papers. God is telling you, step forward. Rise up again yes. and rise again. Yes. Step forward. Step forward. You are running a business. It's not running. God is telling you, step forward. Step forward. There are 1,000 reasons why you should stay down there. You are, The devil will give you 1,000 reasons why you must stand there and remain where you are. Jesus. But God is telling you, step forward. Step forward. The man with the withered hand, he was born that way. He had every reason to stay that. But God says, step forward. Step forward. A higher OK 101.7 FM. Your friend, Dr. Justice Aveva of the Flame House Chapel International Medina New Road Taxi Rank. Uh, to back to the Bible segment. I mean, I mean, or see, step forward. Step forward. The enemy has created systems to limit people, educational systems, political systems, systems all around us. The systems of this world are meant to limit you. No system is meant to promote your cause, mm. unless you have not studied the system well. It's meant to put limitations on you. And Jesus said, I came in to break into the system. Yes. By breaking into the system, the first command he gave was that he said, step forward. Step forward. Today I'm talking to someone here. Jesus. Is it possible that you are coming from a home where Omar, she says systems, demonic systems, from your father's house, hmm. demonic system, Jesus. in your mother's house, yes. demonic system, from yes. your background, demonic system, for where you come from, demonic systems, where you do business, demonic system, where you work, D systems. Yes. One of the careless things you can do as a child of God is to just run into a space without hmm. finding out what goes in there. Jesus, Jesus was well acquainted with the system. <laughs> one, of the, one, of, one of the most dangerous things I as a child of God is to run into a place, rent a shop, stop doing business, run into a space, just, just go in there because you think you are a believer. Mm. You have to know what goes on there. Yes. And God is speaking to you now. Step forward. Step forward. Today by the power of God. Is it possible that there are laws, secret laws that does not allow men to rise? Mm. And that is why you've, you've done your best for the past 30 years, Jesus. for the past 10 years, for the past 15 years, mm. for the past 20 years. But when we look at the margin, when we look at how far you have come, it is nothing worth talking about. Mm. Because there is a demonic system. Today, I am trying to help you take your eyes from the physical and bring your eyes to spiritual things. Jesus. There are laws that control us. Mm. There are laws that control us. Everything we do on this earth is undergirded by a principle. It is by a principle that is how you are able to listen to me on this airwaves. If you are not on the same frequency with me, you will not be able to hear what I'm saying. And it is by laws. We are guided by laws. The same way we are guided by physical laws, there are spiritual laws that guide us. Jesus. And some of us listening to me now, there are spiritual laws, spiritual like the laws. law of Sabbath. There is a spiritual Sabbath law that is guiding the men and guiding the women that is not allowing them to cross certain limits, that is not allowing them to cross certain lines. But today I lift up my voice in the name of Jesus. The of Jesus. By the power of God. Wherever yes. you are listening to me, wherever you are watching me, I declare over you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare that let laws be broken. Amen. Let systems crash in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. By the power of God. Whatever system the devil has created, yes. limiting your marriage, limiting your womb, Jesus. limiting the works of your hands, yes. limiting your ability ability to yes. think your ability to reason Jesus. your ability to make progress yes. some of you some of you you can't even you can't even work with your cognitive mind your generic your, your generic ability to be productive have been shattered you know you can do something but what it takes to do you don't have it 
Have you ever seen people driving some cars and you know you can drive that car? Someone is running a business and you know you can run that business, but you don't have the capital. A system of poverty has been created around your life. When you hold this, it doesn't hold. When you hold this, it doesn't hold. When money comes into your hands, it's like there is a hole in your hands. It just disappears. By the time your salary lands in your pocket, it is gone. It finishes before it gets to you. But today I came with a prophetic and an apostolic mandate. Jesus. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Let God's people be set free. I pray for you right now by the power of God. Wherever you are. Whatever yes. system the devil has created. Yes. A demonic system he has created. We yes. break into the system. Some of us we are dealing with systems that are years. Yes. Thousands of years. This system was there before Moses was born. A friend of Dr. Justice Avevo. I'll be running up in the next 10 minutes. If you just got connected. Obet me a prayer on 020. 020. 020. 403. 403. 804. 804. 68. 68. 020. 020. 403. 403. 804. 68. 68. 020. 020. 403. 804. 68. 68. Now, obet me a prayer after the program, or you can send a WhatsApp for prayer. Uh, Yawa Madina Taxi Rank Flame House Chapel. Hallelujah. Amen. Demonic systems. Today we pray. Let the angel of light, the angel of the Almighty God, be released. Amen. Over our lives, over the works of our hands, in the marketplace, in the office. Demonic system that have been created. You get up in the morning, you come to office. It's been the same thing. 15 years. You have been at the same point. Doing the same thing, having the same result. You have been stretched into a system that is not allowing you to break out. You see your fence breaking out, but you cannot break out. There are people around you who are meant to help you, but they can't help you because the devil has created a demonic siege and system around your life. So no one can help you. Jesus. Because you are in a system. And now our years to Amen. We bump him out. Any system the devil has created by the power of God yes. and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, yes. we command the systems broken right now. In Katula Masata Bahaya, we declare over your marriage, we declare over your finances, Amen. we declare over your career, we declare over the works of your hands. Amen. Whatever system Satan has created right now, we command the systems broken. Amen. Limahado Shankada Bahaya. Jesus broke into the system. By telling the man, step forward. Yes. He says, stretch your hands. Jesus. Two responsibilities. In, in, stepping, in, dealing, in dealing with the system, you have a role to play. God has an ability, but you have a responsibility. Step forward and stretch your hands. Today I pray for you. Let your business step forward. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that has withered in your life, your yes. ministry, anything that has withered your health, yes. anything that has withered your education, anything that has withered, I pray for you today by the power of God. Amen. There is a restoration Amen. that has come to you right now. I lift up prayer. I pray for all. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord restore your finances. The Lord restore your health. Amen. The Lord restore your marriage. Amen. The Lord restore your life. Amen. The Lord restore your career. Amen. The Lord restore your destiny. Amen. Everything that concerns you and whatever you represent, I pray today by the power of God and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the Lord restore you. When I mean show, oh yes, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. God bless you, Doc. We are very grateful for powerful exhortation today. Apostle Dr. Justice Avevo, great man of God, a powerful speaker, preacher, the founder and senior pastor of Flame House Chapel International, and also uh, president of the Justice Avevo Ministries, a revivalist with a God-given mandate to liberate destinies, transform lives, and advance the kingdom of God. And uh, uh, your post uh, flyer, mm. one of the comments, uh, mm. Obidito Asia, okay. was talking about the end time revival mm. that the body of Christ, mm. the church, mm. must have and must be seen mm. today. Mm. In fact, from Monday, we've had um, Apostle uh, Francis Amuakwata talking about the new generation. What does the queen's death and the kingdom, the monarchy of Great Britain, 
um, with regards to Ghana's relationship, pre-independence and post-independence means to us. Uh, Ghana has seen the first British um, black finance minister being a Ghanaian. Okay. Kwasi chile matin. Ghana ni a UK exchequer. So, are we in a dawn of a new beginning or a new revolution? Mm. For the first time I saw on CNN mm. yesterday, mm. people demonstrating that we don't want monarchy. Mm. We don't want monarchy. Mm. We want president like America. Mm. Are we in a dawn of a new beginning? Mm. That's my question. All right. Abeku, thank you so much and God bless you for the great work you are doing. Um, first of all, um, I'll start by saying that we must understand that no one remains at the top forever. Um, God is a God of seasons and a God of times. So wherever you are in any sphere, whether political, religion, academic, whatsoever, know that you are not going to be there forever. Now, the generations behind the people that are up there must also understand that God, you see, Daniel said that he's the God that makes kings. Okay, he changes the times and the seasons. And so, once you see those people out there, you must know that a time is going to come, God is going to topple them over. Because he, he, he works with seasons and times. But there is nothing more humiliating or devastating than getting into, an op getting into a space where there is an opportunity created for you that you are not prepared for. And so, as a generation that is behind this ones, we must be preparing for what God wants to do. So, prophetically, as, as, as believers, we must, set, we, we, must, we must be on the same frequency with God, knowing what God wants to do. Like the sons of Issachar, they understood the times and the seasons in which we are. I believe that the death of uh, the queen is, is making a prophetic statement to the church that... A time is coming. Like the days of, of, of Saul, the people were crying. They did the same thing in the Bible days. They said we wanted kings like many other days. And so after a while, their desire was, was, was granted. And there is no system in this world that is permanent. We have seen empires collapse. We, we, we have seen kingdoms broken down. And so that I believe that the time will come, we would, we would see something that we have not been prepared for. And so what we should be doing as, as a church, as a kingdom people, is to align with God. Because God is about to do a new thing, a new wave. If, if you study the history of revival, it's been a long time since the, uh, the church experienced a global revival. And if you're a student of scripture, you can realize that we are having glimpses of something that is about to come. And so the church must position herself for, for, for God. Because... One, one thing we should know all the time is that God will always use people. God does not operate in vacuum. And so if we don't make ourselves ready and prepared, God will have his people ready and prepared to use. Papa, hmm. yes, sir. Uh, and I don't know if you can ask me for my dream ambassador. One of the most powerful nations in the world, the eh, United States of America. Yeah. Mm. America itself knows that they are one of the most powerful nations in the world. Yeah. In fact, yeah. when they cough, mm. the whole world who catch is, you know. Yeah. Eh, mm. Now, America president, Ghana, pa, mm. it means that when the president of America is coming to Ghana, all eyes of the world will come to Ghana. That's true. Not once from the 60s, the mm. yeah, America president Abba mm. in the 90s, mm. in 1998, yeah. sitting American president, president came yeah. here. Yeah, Bill Clinton. Um, 2004, mm. Barack Obama, <laughs> no, uh, George Bush, Walker Bush, yeah, George Bush, yeah, 2009, mm. Barack Obama, Obama. came mm. sitting president of America. Mm. So imagine America president do move here. Mm. If we are seeing yeah. the Arab region, Russia, and um, Ghana has been a friend or ally of United States of America. Mm. It is 
the world ice eba Ghana so the first black african american speaker of congress nancy pelosi came to Ghana the third in command in america yeah. after the vice president the speaker mm. before the chief justice mm. came to Ghana and you know only the black african american woman caucus mm. and mm. former president of america donald trump niri bagana yeah um also we should step forward mm. there are times and seasons yeah. opportunities bang and the whole edema america for be ba be ba hey and the normal hunti omo ba omo ba be den omo be chia ye na omo ko and there's something that we don't see that they see Ghana fetching South Africa Morocco you know I mean say shells and now say Ghana ne fe the Argentina America ne abrofu etaiba um Tony Blair ba John Major ba um you know um I mean UK for no ba be bree ba the ain't no omo ba now at the end as i you who are you here what are the opportunities that we have not seen mm. but they keep coming here yeah i very good thank you um several years ago someone gave a prophecy that he saw a star that was moving around the globe and it settled uh, somewhere in the middle and so when he checked the map it was as if this thing landed on ghana now i heard this thing about 15 years back and the person indeed prophesied that um, there is going to be a coming move it is going to be spiritual it's going to be political it's going to be economical and it's going to be within this uh, sub region uh, within our sub region and so um, if i want to answer your question on why they keep coming here let me shift it to this side they may not they may have reasons for coming research has even shown that 60 percent of the world resources are found in africa the world resources talk about gold and all the, the mineral resources they are found in Africa. And they know that very much well, of which you and I understand that for which reason a lot of things have happened in the past. I believe that God is making a prophetic statement to us because, like you rightly said, uh, what is it that will make the Queen of Sheba leave Ethiopia, travel several kilometers and come to Solomon? It was because he had something. Now, these people prophetically are picking signals unconsciously about us and they are coming towards us mm. if you study church history many years back you see that the biggest church was in uh, uh, uh south korea you do assembly by pastor young Cho. now that thing has shifted it's come to nigeria now we now have the big the largest gatherings are gatherings are now in nigeria that is a huge prophetic statement uh, uh pastor paul in Nenche with over hundred thousand plus people gathering and as we speak now there are Buildings that are coming up that are going to take over 120,000. This is Nigeria. So this, this, is a, this, is, this is a shift. That the thing shifted all the way from Asia and it's come this way. There will be no physical, economic, political shift if nothing takes place in the realms of the spirit. So first of all, there must be a shift I mean, spiritually. And that is the statement God is making to us. What we see going around us within our neighbors is a prophetic indication that something is about to happen. And so this is why it's important for us to step forward. The youth must not stay in, just complain about unemployment, complain about what is going on. Spiritually, we must step forward. Because before God even does something with us, we must step forward. God will only use willing vessels. If God wants to cause something in the midst of his people, he needs people that are willing, people that must agree with him, that must accept what he wants to do. And that is why from the beginning, the Bible said, he said, let us make money in our own image. He needed that kind of a person. And so it is time for us to step forward. The youth must step forward because if you can see with the eyes of the spirit, opportunities are being created. If someone leaves his land with all the luxury and all the powers and all the things to come to your, your space, it's, a, it's an indication that there is something in here that you are not seeing that he is seeing. So I think that it is time for us, the church, the youth, our leaders to step forward something is happening mm. and this as the prophet said is a spiritual shift yeah see a sorry need kenya we need to wake up we need to step up we need to step forward 
instead of complaining, 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 as I see you say, I want say a DNT and a whole a bow memo at the end of my whoa. Ah, yeah, 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 let me interrupt. If you look at history, the United Kingdom colonized over 20% of the world's population then. But gradually, they began to lose it. Even North America, they colonized them. But gradually, they began to lose it. Because people stood, stood up, they stepped forward, and they started fighting for freedom. Give us our space. We want to be on our own. And gradually, they began to lose all those territories. And you can see them standing on their own, becoming world superpowers, doing things by themselves. So I tell you, you and I and the people of my day, mm. we have no excuse. Listen, Jesus was looking at the, the Sadducees and he knew the system that has been created several years and he dare not touch it because this thing existed before he was born. Somebody would have told Jesus that, listen, for peace to prevail, just wait. You can do this another time. But if it must be done, it must be done now. Uh, Papa, before I go back on, I want to woman be brave including enforcing your spiritual authority yes sir and now 50 characteristics of a fool yeah 50 adults mm -hmm. mommy five <laughs> <laughs> characteristics <laughs> of a fool so the old tia ya ube who says somebody the old yeah oh yeah i'm quasi a sem oh yes somebody a jimmy sem enforcing your spiritual authority mm. I did for me brave empire. Now so you need to me and your uncle Pon Ediamae. So we are praying, yet we are begging. Mm -hmm. We are praying, mm -hmm. yet we don't even believe mm -hmm. that God has given. So your vampire, God has made us like God. So I say, why aren't you saying me? So be be a bad command, be a bad to me about. But we don't even believe mm -hmm. what God has said about us. Mm -hmm. And no uh, enforcing your spiritual authority mm. unless you are spiritually empty. Mm. But say when you say soon soon mu hum hum mu, yango pon edi ni tumi asha wansa dia. Enforce it, mm. enforce it. Ma enya juma. Papa, what you want? The fifty characteristics of a fool. Yeah. Fifty dollars. Yeah. Mama five. I I I I. Let me tell you. I wrote that book. One time I was reading. I was reading, I decided to just read through uh, the book of Proverbs back to back. Then I realized that from Proverbs 1 to Proverbs 31, the Bible mentions the word fool more than 100 times. And when, when the Bible mentions a word one, two, three times, you need to pay attention to that word. So I, I, I said, no, let me give this an attention. So I, I began to search. Why would someone be referred to as a fool? I want to read a scripture for you. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. He says that a fool is easily deceived and seduced because he hates to learn more. A fool. So, you see, fool dislikes knowledge. A fool dislikes knowledge. To your faith, add knowledge. It's not enough to be born again. There are Christians sitting down and all they do, we do is to just pray in tongues, go to church and that ends it. If you'd have to take a course to improve upon your skills, do that. A fool hates knowledge. Someone says that the 21st century illiterate is not the one who cannot read and write, but is the one who cannot learn, relearn, and unlearn. So a fool always refuses to learn. If once you stop learning, you, you, I'm sorry, you will, be, you, will be, you will be captured in that category. Number two, let me show you another scripture. Number two, Proverbs 18 verse 2. He said, a fool lacks insight. He speaks whatever comes. No, a fool has no delight in understanding, but in expressing his own heart. Proverbs 18 verse 2. So a fool does not have underst an understanding heart. A heart that seeks for understanding. Seeking for insight about things. No. A fool doesn't have that kind of thing to seek for insight. You know. And uh, uh, Proverbs 10 18 says that he that hideth hatred with lying lips and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. The one that hides hatred with lying lips and he that authorized slander, lies. There are people who discredit noble people in society. They spread lies about them. Somebody calls himself a blogger. Just go sit down and look at a noble man in society. Write stories about him just to damage his reputation. Today we see a youth picking up camera, just sitting on social media, insulting and saying, saying things that are not true. Do you know how the Bible calls you? The Bible says that such a person 
is a fool. So a fool or a, a, a fool is a slanderer. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 3. He says, even, a f even when a fool walks along, along the way, he lacks wisdom. And he who shows everyone, and he shows everyone that he's a fool. So you see, a fool is easily identified. You can easily identify a fool. It doesn't take, you don't need rocket science to identify who a fool is. Once you see him, you know that this person is a fool by his speech. When he walks along the way, the Bible says everybody sees and knows that this one is a fool. You know what the Bible says? He says that even a fool, when he holds his peace, is considered as wise. So, so a man who is always striving, a, a person who is always striving, jai, won't he jai, stop, no, he's always striving. Such an individual is considered as a fool. <laughs> I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on. Very interesting. A fool hates correction. Proverbs 12 verse 1. Whoever loves instruction and correction loves knowledge. But he who hates reproof is like a brute beast. Stupid and indiscriminating. Uh, Bible stupid womb. Uh, yeah, Bible stupid womb. Stupid womb, pa. Stupid womb, foolish womb. Paul said, oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? A fool is right in his own eyes and does not listen to advice. Proverbs 12, 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearken unto counsel is wise. A fool is right in his own eyes. There are people you can never correct in life. Bring the wisest man on earth. They will never, they will never accept that they are wrong. What they are thinking is right. What they are saying is right. The Bible calls such individuals fools. God bless you, Abego. Apostle Dr. Justice Avevo. Yes, sir. Um, he is the founder and senior pastor of Flame House Chapel International. Therefore, he is also the president of Justice Avevo Ministries. He holds his PhD in medical physics from the University of Cape Coast. He holds his MPhil degree in medical physics from University of Ghana, Lagos. He holds master's degree of arts in ministry from Trinity Theological Seminary, Lagos. He holds his bachelor's degree in physics from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Dr. Avevo. Dr. Justice Avevo. Yes, sir. Wabinse and Kati Ayachi. And he's a man of God. He's a prophet. And that is why he delivers, you know, I mean, the word of God with precision, you know, and with practical examples. It is, doctor, a woman named for being for so for and no Um, this week may kind a year, um, 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 book be a yacho eche good to great. And greatness is by choice, mm. by um, Jim Rosen. Okay. Now, he talked about great people, mm. that great people are mere ordinary people mm. who do things uniquely. Mm. And one of the characteristics of great people are people who don't want to appear larger than heroes. Mm. They are just normal, regular people. Yeah. I don't think Dr. Sekwa despite mm. <laughs> said he wanted to become one of the biggest people in Ghana. Mm. He just went about doing his thing, selling cassettes, producing music, mm. starting so yeah, the mm. bar, you know, mm. yeah, chene, or mm. yeah, way, or yeah, way. Mm. And today he's considered as one of the great men in Ghana. That's true. Dr. Kwabineje, the founder of Casa Proko Company Limited, in 1989 established mm. his business in Nungwa, mm. a suburb of Accra, a small place. Mm. Today, his business is a multi, you know, international mm. business mm. all over the world. Mm. So, great people, but there's a roadmap from good to great. Mm. And good has always become enemy to greatness. The moment you consider yourself, you are good, you are good, you are good, mm -hmm. you limit yourself of becoming great. Yeah. And great people.
people don't even want to appear that they are big. Yeah. They, 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 any Range Rover, no, hey, no, no. you know, any, any mansions is not, is not Land Cruisers, mm -hmm. but their work speaks for them. That's true. Dr. Sepp, I saw a person here interview. Oh, here, PR. But there are people who grant interview to bloggers mm. to blog them that me, I'm rich in yeah. Ghana, I have this, I have that. <laughs> But the great people, <laughs> the, I'm on granting interview. Yeah, David, 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 David. You have to go and discover yeah. who owns this. They yeah. say this man, who yeah. owns that? Yeah. Say, yeah. And when you meet them, mm -hmm. they are very, very simple. very simple people. Simple, simple, simple people. Mm -hmm. It has a wisdom way in this end time. You are too suffering. Ope a sorry a best sound. A sorry a best revival. I sorry about what me to an among and yet praying in tongues, praying in tongues, hereba baba, hereba baba, hereba baba. Now, what that's what he said, the routine that is why I mean, Apostle is showing us the characteristics and near my Emma Hunyansa. So, what to me, Jai San Yamane Ya Ube Hunyansa into Flame House Chapel International, El Madina, opposite Queen of Peace Catholic Church, Flame House Chapel International. Number in the front. If you want a revivalist in this end time, whose ministry by the word of God will transform you, Apostle Dr. Justice Avevo, call 0558 629 Six seven three or zero two zero four zero three eight four six eight zero two zero four zero three eight four six eight zero two zero four zero three eight four six eight step forward was the message. Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you. We're grateful for your time.